So, we were discussing the implementation of sequential circuits using MSI and LSI components. We saw how to do a design of a sequential circuit with multiplexers as a combination logic which is used to drive the flip flops. And we also did the ROM implementation, PROM implementation rather for which you write the transition table or the state table and get the size of the ROM and program the ROM to write the contents of the table. So, it is called ROM content table. The same table which is what we call a truth table for combination logic is all when it is programmed into a ROM it is called a ROM content table. So, the inputs variables are called uh, addresses and the output variables are the contents in that addresses that is why it is called ROM content table. Then we talked about the programmable logic array solution wherein before we decide the size or the PIL or PLA we need to know how many min terms we need to how many product terms we need to accommodate. So, we need to reduce the hardware the, the, the table the state table or the transition table to accommodate uh, to as few product terms as possible. When you do a programmable logic array implementation we like to have as many common product terms as possible whereas, in the case of programmable array logic commonality of the product terms do not have any meaning because you do not uh, it does not help it does not help you to reduce this uh, size because the OR gate inputs are prefixed fixed OR gate. So, the same uh, state graph that we discussed in the last lecture we will use as example for implementing um, PLA program logic array and PIL program array logic solutions. So, I without going into the details of the simplification which you know how to do of driving logic. So, we had this truth table I am not going to write the full, full truth table we did that in the last lecture. A, B, C are the present state variables along with the input x A plus B plus C plus the next state variables along with output z and for this table This is the table I am not writing because it has been given to you earlier in the same table and these states are not going to occur. So, this will be filled with do not cares and this will be filled with zeros. not used in this example. So, on simplification I get the following um, d a which is same as a plus next variable a plus is same as the input to the d flip flop 
as bx ac bar x. db which is the next state variable b plus also the input of the b flip flop db is that is there a question here right we talk about which one t a what is that a a x Yes, it is A x. Um, correct. You are right. Thank you. B plus is A c bar x x bar B c bar x a bar b bar c which one 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 person which term b bar c you mean the whole thing is Okay, B bar C B bar A A X bar A X bar B bar C, B bar C. This term remains. The second term remains. How many ones are there? Four ones. No, no, no. What? No, 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 no. I am asking about how many ones are there. 1, 2, 3. So, I put an extra 1 here somewhere. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, let me see. 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. Is that right? 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. That is where the mistake is. So, that is it. I know. I am not. I know that do not get included. I was trying to look for some common terms and then ended up with a less efficient solution. Anyway, there is an extra one there and then the D C before I make a mistake somebody tell me, who is going to tell me? Yes. A bar? Yeah. A x bar. Correct. Huh? As a matter of fact, I got this right. <laughs> Which is a common term here. See? without trying making an effort it comes and then z is the output is there is no compromise on that there is only two terms a bar b c bar x a bar b c x is that right what one person please a bar b should be c x a bar b c x a bar 
Ebar be C X correct. Wait, wait, A bar B C X this is right. That is already there. The other one is A B bar C bar X. Okay. So, we have to now give the size of the PLA. So, this this you get by simplifying these graphs from this table, which is a transition state table. State table is also transition table in the case in this case because of the fact that we are using D flip flops. If you use some other flip flops, the transition table is slightly different from there. So, the size of the program logic array is how many inputs? 4 inputs, 4 outputs and how many different product terms are there now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, we can get the uh, I see with 4 inputs, 4 outputs and sound product terms, get that and do this programming, way it is done is, I would, I would rather write here, A, A bar, B, B bar, C, C bar, X, X bar. So, each of this may be inputs to produce these 7 required product terms. So, I, I need to run lines. This is a symbol to show that any of these can be the input to the AND gate. So, that means, these AND gates have 8 inputs each. Some of them we can retain, some of them we can disconnect. So, like that I need 7 terms. 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. So, this will be called P0, P1, P2, P3, P4, P5, P6, P7, P8, P9, P10, P11, P12, P13, P14, P15, P16, P17, P18, P19, P20, P21, P22, P23, P24, P25, P26, P27, P28, P29, P30, P31, P32, P33, P34, P35, P36, P37, P38, P39, P40, P41, P42, P43, P44, P45, P46, P47, P47, P48, P49, P50, P51, P52, P53, P54, P55, P56, P57, 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 P
P4 is, say it again, please. Oh, I left this, P2 and P3 left. Huh? I can always change it. So, this is uh, okay, A, A x bar, no? P2 is A x bar. P2 is A x bar. P3 is B bar C, B bar C, P3, P4 is A bar B bar X, A bar B bar X. P5 is A bar, B bar C, A B bar C, A B bar C X, A B bar C bar X. No, 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 no. A B bar C bar X. Is that right? C bar X. P6 is a bar B C X. So this is my P4 is what? Okay. So, this is P, P0, P1, P2, P3, P4, Six. Now I have to combine them in OR gates. The symbolic way of showing it. So, P0, P1, P2, P3, P4, P2, P5, P6. So, this is the implementation. Now, you are, you are familiar with the drawing with three flip flops. 
D flip flops. So the nested variables stored in the flip flop used as the percent state variables. This completes our design. Programmer logic array based design of the same shared graph. Single IC, this whole thing is a single IC. This is a PA. One three bit register or four bit register. There is nothing like a three bit register. You can't buy a three bit register, you need a four bit register. PAL solution is similar. Are there any questions with the PLA solution? What? C plus is C plus is P 4, P 2, did I mark something differently? Yes. Thanks. You know what I mean? The dots are not important. Finally, when you make the corrections in the programming, of course, I do not want to make a mistake in the drawing, but still, it is a conceptual. You know how to do it. Now, for a PAL solution, this is a PAL for a PL, a PLA solution. For a PAL solution, I need four inputs, four outputs. There is no point in mentioning seven product terms because we need to give the number of inputs to the to each of these OR gates, each of the outputs. That means each of these outputs require two inputs. So, I need each output with each output OR gate requires two inputs. And then, if necessary, if possible, I would like to have a registered output, at least three registers. I told you outputs can be combination output, high, high, low, exclusive or programmed I/O, programmable I/O. So I can have a registered outputs, one combinational and three registered outputs. Minimum, of course. You will not get all of them. If you put it in your search in your uh, web website of the manufacturer of this ICs, PILs, you give this requirement, it may come up with a list of ICs which satisfies this minimum condition, but they may not have exactly the same number. It may be very difficult to get uh, um, IC with three registered outputs, maybe one with a four, four registered and four combination possible. 4 registered and 2 combination may be possible. 4 inputs may not be possible, maybe 4 possible, maybe 8 inputs, something like that. So, I am not going to do that. As I said, there are standard ICs, some of them the drawings or some of them are given in the books, standard textbooks. Is you see how it is connected. So, the whole thing is uh, without uh, redoing the whole exercise. I must have given some space extra. 
So, what I will do is to to make it as a P A L solution, this is a P L A solution. Suppose I want to make it as a P A L solution. This part is same, this part is same, except we need to get one more input. So, this input we will call it P4, P3, P4. P 5 P 6 actually this should be P 5 this should be P 6 P 7 that means this A x bar will be generated twice once it will be required for this output again it will be required for this output. So, in order to modify this graph I am this diagram I am going to call this P 4 1 just like that let us call this product term P 4 1 product term that is modification of P 4 same as P 2 it is. So, that means, I need to introduce it after P 3, P 4, before P 5 somewhere here. This is the modified product term which will have again A x bar. A x bar same as P 2 with an and gate. You do not have yellow chalks right, yellow is the best color for drawing. So, these two terms will go into my A plus, these two terms will go into B plus, these two terms will go into this, this and this will go into. Now, I have to modify this graph, remove this input because it is not available, instead reduce this extra. this term and this term together will go to C plus and Z is same. So, this term has to be generated that is what I want to say. Even though it is a common term between C plus and B plus, I need to generate it two times once into the B plus output, second time into the C plus output because these outputs are fixed into the input of the R gates there is no way I can manipulate it it is not programmable it is fixed. This is programmable how we generate P 0, P 1, P 2, P 3, P 4, P 5, P 6 is in our hands, but what inputs what product terms are connected to each of these outputs is not programmable it is not negotiable it is fixed. So, I need to have a R gay I, I need to have a device with at least two inputs for each of these outputs, first two inputs go for this, second two inputs go for this, third three two inputs go for this and fourth. So, I need to generate this of course, fortunately now I will have eight, I will have this extra gen term generated and again these registers need not be part of the outside, need not be outside this, this can be part of this, only that part I will show you here, only that part. So, what it can be supposing the outputs are d a, d b, d c, c, these are the four outputs we have generated, these are the points. This will go into an OR gate, this each of them will go into a flip flop when you say register. You 
Your D flip flop. Your D flip flop. Your D flip flop. This is not a D flip flop. So this is a output required. This is my A, B, C as outputs. And the next state variable, this has to go back into the input. So, instead of directly connecting this, through the register, this feedback connection is also inside the device. This feedback connection was external to the device. Remember, this was the device boundary for the PAL, I am sorry, PLA. For the PLA, this is the device boundary. This is external, the feedback connection is external. In this case, I have these devices, these registers inside. So, this feedback mechanism is also inside. There again, that has to be so the inversion has also has to be done. So, now we will have so this is DC, this is C plus. So, this is a, this has to be C plus, this C plus bar. So, this will be C plus bar, this is C plus. B plus bar, B plus. Going back. So, this is my device boundary here. I do not need this outputs, I only need Z in this case. So, single input, single output system, x is input, z is the output, but if you want I can always look at what is happening in ABC, you can monitor them in an oscilloscope or something. Limitation of the programmable array logic, uh, programmable array logic selection is that we need extra product terms, even the product terms that are generated earlier cannot be used, I need to generate it each time. If this is part of a output function, even though this is the same term has appeared as a part of an output function earlier, we cannot use it. The easiness of programmability, I do not have to combine these, you know, look for the common terms, etcetera. I can always say first two terms, three terms, four terms. This need not be always two terms, this is only an example. I can have, I can give a list of two outputs with two inputs, product, uh, product terms two outputs with three product terms as inputs, two with four product terms input, all that requirement I can give and then you can see whether a device manufacturer has a device like that. If it does not have it, then you have to go for a bigger device or another manufacturer. Occasionally, you can do a trick. Suppose, I have a three terms here, suppose I have three terms here, C plus has three terms, supposing of course, we have reduced it. Suppose I had three product terms and I have this programmable array logic with two inputs each. I got this four outputs with two inputs to each OR gate that is available with me and I want to, I have two choices now. I can make use of this and try to get a all the terms, X, I can have no, pro, I, have, I will have no problems for A plus, B plus and z, but B, c plus I cannot accommodate because c plus has three product terms. I do not know where to put the third product term. One solution is to get a bigger device with 2, 2, 3, 3 or something like that. Suppose, I do not want to do that, but there are extra outputs available because I will not be using all the outputs. I may have for example, there is nothing like a four input, four output device usually it is eight, put, 8 input, 8 outputs, 
even out of 8 outputs you may have 4 of them registered, 4 of them combinational. So, typically we will have 8 inputs, 4 registered outputs, 4 non registered outputs and I need only 1 non registered output z. I need only 3 registered outputs a b c and 1 non registered output z. So, there are 3 non registered outputs available free which are not used and 1 registered output which is not used free. What I will do is I will generate a extra term suppose I have let us say p 7 for this solution this is the best one for this implementation assume my implementation is different I'm assume my requirement is different assume my state table and the state graph is different I am not able to reduce c plus beyond the 3 terms. So, a p 7 got generated. So, what I will do is I will generate p 7 as an extra combination output and feed it back as one of the inputs. So, that I can combine p 7 with p 4 and p 4 1 in order to get the d c. So, what I am saying is basically I have one registered, non -registered this is my requirement there is one which is not used, not used. Similarly, I have this is z is not it. Supposing I use this to get a P 7, it is a single input R gate. Na? I have a 2 input R gate in which one input I will connect P 7, other input I will not connect anything. So, I will get P 7 here and now I can take this P 7 and feed us in one of the non used inputs. So, I have in addition to A, B, C and X, I also have P 7 as the inputs. If there are 8 inputs, I am using only 4 of them, there are 4 unused inputs. To one of those unused inputs, I am going to connect my P 7. So, my all my combinations can now be A, B, C, X and P 7 and that will so, P 4 I will get from A, A B C X, P 4 1 I will get from A B C X, P 7 is there, I combine them together to form one AND gate product and that will be my C plus. So, I can break down my design with unused outputs and unused inputs to reduce to avoid going for a bigger I C. Many times you are asked to do that, especially in exams right. You may have an extra input extra output which you may not want to leave waste and then go for a bigger IC. You have to optimize it. If all else fails, if all else fails, one of the combination output has an extra term I am not able to get the, but I tried my best to accommodate an unused input unused output I am not, not able to do anything. Best thing is to get the output with one term less and build a simple AND gate output at the, at the outside of this PIL. Outside of the PIL, I can also generate any product term using gates. It is not that product terms cannot be generated outside, is it not? Product terms can be generated as long as there are gates. If I am given AND gates and inverters, I can always generate a product term, is it not? So, I will generate a product term or a 2 outside and then try to combine with the available output of the PIL and come up with the required product outputs. These are done only in case of a small extra requirement. Generally, it is better to go for a bigger device. If you are talking of a very, very marginal shortfall. In the, in the device availability versus design requirement. So, choice of using a, this device or a bigger device. As I said 20 pin, the next thing is 40 pins and just for the sake of one product term. 
I will do some of these gimmicks. But if I am talking of many many general uh, many many extra product terms and this device is too small to accommodate my requirement, I will always go for a bigger device. So, it is a decision is yours cost wise, convenience wise, number of ICs wise, because after all it is the number of ICs have to be reduced kept to a small value, space the PCB the circuit board, PCB stands for what? Printed circuit board, the space for the IC in the PCB, the cost of the ICs, the reliability by having a larger circuit compared to many small circuits, all those power requirements and all that we said speed requirements will be met by bigger ICs, but occasionally we may have a very, very marginal uh, extra requirement, very trivial small requirement extra and the next choice is only double the size, which will consume a lot of power and it's too expensive or you may not have that version available instead of waiting. Sometimes this also happens because of the requir requirement of the inventory. Suppose you have only this available, the other device is not available for some reason discontinued that model is discontinued, that, that version is discontinued or because your company wants to use a product of a specific a particular type, particular manufacturer because of a tie up. These are all uh, commercial uh, problems. You may want, your company may not want to use the product of a competitor or rival in the field. So, you would rather do an improvision like that. These are all practical problems. So, you have to sort of many times it is possible in a simple design like this, short, small designs like this, many times it is possible to do a little improvision intelligently, look for certain things way in which you can overcome the difficulty. Instead of saying you are require, I require three product terms for one of the inputs and you have, I have only all my in the product, outputs are only two product terms, so I cannot do the design go to the next problem. That is not a correct approach. A design engineer is always be innovative. As I said, we are paid for innovation, not for making the circuit, building it and then simulating it, which is a standard procedure. Of course, you need to know it, but most of the salary you get is for drawing a best possible design, making a best possible design using the best combination of components, both in terms of the requirement and specification to meet the specifications and then do it in the most efficient way. So, with this we will uh, conclude our uh, discussion on LSI, MSI components and use of them in combination logic as well as sequential logic, but sometimes what we do is the sequential logic also there are MSI, LSI's. The, the MSI, LSI we have discussed so far are multiplexers, PILs and program logic devices, decoder etcetera are combinational uh, MSI's or LSI's. A register is a sequential MSI. What is an MSI definition wise it is more gates than a, a, a few gates. Anything about 10 gates thumb rule wise I said 10 to 100 gates. So, a 4 bit register if you take or a 4 bit counter if you take binary counter four flip flops with reset clear and all those features and clocking features, master slave if it is, count all the number of gates it may be more than maybe 15, 20 gates may be there. Maybe it qualify for a to be called as an MSI, likewise the shift registers. So, you can also it is also possible to design certain times around a given register, the sequential logic also can be designed. So, we only said how to optimize the combination logic using MSI and LSI. I will spend one class more on one lecture more on how to use some of the sequential logic building blocks. Supposing flip flops are not available, you are given a register, you are also design a sequential a state machine. You can use MSI, of course, gates or multiplexer type, no problem. Or I may be given a, you may be given a 4 bit shift register, or you may be given a 4 bit counter. So, use any of them and then go through the steering logic, go through the states, state transition as defined in the state graph 
with of course extra combination logic. That combination logic can come from either gates or from MSI LSI. So, you can have an MSI gates and simple flip flops or you can have gates and then registers or you can have a combination of both. So, you can have a MSI solution for a combination logic alone, or you can have a MSI solution for sequence logic alone or you can have an MSI LSI solution for both of it. Programmable array logic comes in that category of MSI LSI for both putting them together. So, we will see how to do that given a counter for example, or a shift register. How do you implement, how do you make that counter which normally counts in a particular sequence to count it the way you like for a particular combination of given states given by the state graph. With that example, we will finish our discussion on LSI and MSI and move on to some system design examples. Thank you.